What up, it's KJ Jifties in the building. I'm here to bring you guys some modern warfare tips and strategies. In today's video, I want to be giving you guys two best class setups to get a nuke in modern warfare. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Now, starting off with the very first weapon, that is the M4A1. Obviously, the M4A1 is literally a shredding uh, monster. Everybody uses it. It's overly powered and it's overused in modern warfare, but it's such a reliable weapon. It has amazing damage from far, close, and medium range, and using this weapon is just masterful, and I love it so much. And the, per the everything that I use for this um, use for this weapon, I guarantee that this M4 will be literally a monster destruction machine, and I guarantee you will get a nuke and you will shred anybody. Or if you're not even trying to get a nuke, if you're just trying to get all your streaks, I guarantee with this class setup, you're gonna you're gonna get it with both of these classes that I'm gonna give you. But starting off with the M4A1, starting off with the very first thing, and that is the muzzle. The muzzle that I use is the monolithic uh, suppressor. Uh, the monolithic suppressor is very very useful. Obviously, everyone uses it. It makes the gun feel a lot stronger. And on top of that, if you're trying to get that nuke, you want to be stealthy. You don't want to come on top of the map because that monolithic suppressor or just any suppressor in general is going to keep you from being on that map. But like I said, something about the monolithic suppressor just gives you that damage boost, so it makes it a lot easier and it makes you it makes it a lot um easier to get those gunshots and windows so i guarantee using that model suppressor will come in handy for surely with the bear i use the st the stock m16 grenader i kind of mess around with it depending on my preference i usually either use the m16 grenader or the corvus it really just depends sometimes it just depends on if the game really want to fuck with you or not but i say use the m16 grenader just because it, it it packs a lot more damage and the stats for it is just a lot better but if you want to mess around with the Corvus, i rec i highly recommend using that as well it just really just depends on how the game really wants to act and if it really wants to mess with you or not i would say use it but it really just depends it really just depends on you in my opinion but you don't necessarily have to use it but i do i would say use the m16 grenade just because it's just it, the stats are a lot better than the corvus but the corvus is still powerful but like i said it just depends on how the game wants to play and if it really wants to fuck with you but on top of that i use the with the underbear i use the commando foregrip usually people use the merc or use the ranger i like to use the commando foregrip just because it's a lot faster with the aim down the sight with the other foregrips you kind of aim in a little bit slower so with my m with my m4 i like to aim in a lot faster so if you're in close range it's easier to win those gunfights because you aim in a lot faster with that commando foregrip and on top of that it don't lose the accuracy the accuracy still is the laser even with the, even with the commando forward so i do recommend using it just because if you tend to be in gunfights close up you can you can aim it a lot faster you can easily get that kill now going on with the ammunition i use a 60 round mag six round mags powerful with six round mag is probably one of the best mags you can use on the m16 i mean m4 sorry about that or just in general just because it gives you a greater chance of uh, of getting triple kills and double kills and on top of that if you're going over weapons that carry that same uh bullet capacity uh, that carries that same 556 five, bullet it will definitely give you a higher ammo capacity so you don't have to go in with your ammo crate or anything like that you don't have to rely on ammo and on top of that before it's a high you, you know you have a higher chance of, of getting double kills or triple kills you don't have to reload all the time because you run out of ammo pretty pretty fast with the m4 just in general in modern warfare and then last but not least the perk i use fmj i use fmj because it just gives that it just feel like the gun has such a it has a greater damage boost than when you don't have the fmj and on top of that if you're getting hit markers against the enemy that's trying to run and they're hiding behind you know terrain you can easily you know it'll shoot them obviously the fmj will will penetrate the wall or whatever they're hiding at so it can easily get an easily kill for you depending on what type of surface that they um that they are camping at and then with the secondary i do use the snake shot well the I use the Magnum, the Snake Shot. I want to let you know, don't rely too much on the Snake Shot just because the game be fucking you over. It bullshits. It will give you hit markers depending on where you shoot them at. So I wouldn't highly, I only rely on this if you really, really, really need to. So don't rely too on it too much because, like I said, it will fuck you over depending on where you shoot them at. So it's not always a guarantee. But for the snake shot i use the 5mw laser and i use uh for the trigger action i use the max grenade trigger and then the am ammunition snake shot and then for the rear grip i use stipple grip tape and then for the perk fmj just because fmj gives it that damage boost and on top of that i like the reason why i don't really usually i put the uh, the handle on it on my snake shot just because you know it makes it actually a lot better but personally it aims in too slow for me so not when you don't have it it makes the it makes you it makes the snake shot aim in a lot faster than normally but like i said before you can't rely on it too much because 
like I said, you will get a hit marker depending on where you shoot them at. And like I said, the game and they did nerf it. And the game just want the game bullshit you from time to time. So don't rely too much on it because it's not going to always be a guarantee that you're going to get that one shot. Only rely on it if you really, really need to. And then the perks that I use is EOD restock and tr um, and tracker. Use EOD because it protects you from an explosive. I use the restock because it comes in handy with your tactical. Because I use stem shot. And if you're using Depending on if you want to get the nuke, if you do like, if you want to get the nuke, I recommend using the C4. If well, I recommend using the proximity mine. You can use the C4 if you're more of a if you're more of an aggressive type of player. But proximity mines at least that because when you're trying to get that nuke, you have to play passive and aggressive depending on the situation and depending on the map. But I highly recommend using. I highly recommend using the proximity mine just because it comes in a lot handy because you're going to have to play passive in order to get that nuke. And then I use tracker just because you can see the enemy footsteps. And on top of that, when you shoot the enemy, when you kill them, the enemies can't see where the enemy got killed because the skull won't pop up. So it makes it you're pretty much a ninja, especially when you're using that suppressor. So it makes things a whole lot easier for you. And I guarantee, like I said, it makes it, it gives you a better, a greater chance of getting that nuke. And then for the lethal, I use C4. But like I said, use proximity mines because it's a lot more useful when you're trying to get that nuke because you're going to have to play passive. But if you're more of an aggressive type of player, you want to slay out. By all means, use that C4. The C4 will come in handy tremendously especially if you're more of that aggressive type of player and then for the tactical i use stem shot just because i don't want to be in a gunfight and i, I want i want to have to he i want to heal because i don't want to just you know run out of stem shot and then be in a gunfight and i can't heal and i get slaughtered by some other people so i guarantee using that but there you have it that's the very first that's the first class setup but the second one uh the second one that i use is the kilo 141 and before i get into detail with that i want to let you know this is not my original class setup i got this from a youtuber i don't know his name if I find out what his name is again, I will put it in the link description. But this Kilo class is literally a shredding weapon. It's monstrous. And the Kilo is just such an overpowered weapon before. This is pretty much, it's like it's like an assault rifle SMG hybrid. Because you don't have no stock and it make, and you can run really, really fast. And on top of that, it gives you a lot of accuracy and you slay people without a problem. So with the barrel, I use the Sin Guard Arms Whisperer. It's pretty much a built-in suppressor. So you don't have to worry about using a suppressor. And then for the underbarrel, I use a Merc 4 grip. Um, you aim in a lot faster just because when you don't have that stock, it aims in a lot quicker. And like I said, it just feels like an SMG when you're running around the map. Ammunition, I use a 60-round mag. Like I said before, when you're using that 60-round mag, it'd be a, it's a greater chance of you getting doubles and triple kills or maybe a four-piece depending on the moment. And then when you pick up an ammo that's similar to the one that the, uh, that the Kilo holds, it's going to give you a higher ammo capacity so you don't have to rely on those on those crates on the ammo crate so it makes it a lot easier for yourself and then for the stock i use no stock obviously because it, it, it plays like an smg you move hella fast but on top of that with that merc foregrip the gun is still a laser from far distance so you don't have to always worry about going up close up close to personal but when you're in close up close and personal you're going to aim it fast because you don't have that no stock and it makes it a monstrous weapon and then last but not least i use the perk fmj fmj like i said before it gives it a damage boost, and on top of that, if you're getting hit marks and the person want to hide behind a certain object, you can kill them with no problem because, you know, depending on what surface that they're at, but it goes through the wall and it kills them with no hesitation, so it makes it a whole lot easier for you. And for the secondary weapon, I use a stink shot. Similar, everything is the same as the M4 class setup, so you don't have to worry about that. And then the perks, I use EOD, restock, and tracker. And then for the lethal, like I said, use... The proximity mines when you're trying to get that nuke, but if you're more of a person that likes to be a little bit more aggressive than UC4, and then I use for the tactical, I use a stem shot. But there you guys have it. Those are two best class setups that I highly recommend to get in that nuke. It may, it's, they're all very, very powerful. They all, both of these class setups work in different situations, in my opinion. I think the Kilo is a better weapon overall just because it has a lot of damage. And on top of that, when you uh, it's like an SMG. So if you're finding yourself having to be aggressive when you put up that advanced UAV, it makes it a whole lot easier for you to get those kills with no problem. And it, t it downs people within maybe th two to three to four shots. Well, two to three, four two to three shots it downs people and it makes the kilo becomes a shredder when you use that and then on top of that with uh last but not least i forgot to mention what the kill streaks that i use i use the harrier just because when you put in the harrier um when you put in the veto ship the veto in a certain place of the map it kind of gives you that map control and then i use the i use the white phosphorus um i use the white phosphorus because when you put in it shout out to k3 for this tip but if you put the white phosphorus on the side of the map you don't want it you know it won't hurt you and it won't kill you and then when you're getting that eventual av which is the last one that i use you get that eventual av it gives you a higher it gives you a greater chance of 
you know, killing people because since that white phosphorus already weakens the enemy, using that advanced UAV is pretty much a cheat code and you slay people without 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 no hesitation so i highly recommend using that but then, like i said there you guys have it those are the class setups that i have to get in the nuke um if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you want more less class setup videos more great videos is coming soon i hope you guys enjoy i am going to be doing a tip a bet um, i'm going to be doing a nuke tip video for you guys as well alongside of this so stay tuned with that it's going to be dropping soon but i hope you guys enjoy more great more great videos coming soon and i'll see you guys in the next one